floral shirts and guns, two signatures of the so-called Boogaloo Boys. We just do a little yoink, and then we pull this out. Organized online, the movement mostly stayed out of sight until supporters started showing up heavily armed at U.S. anti-lockdown protests and Black Lives Matter demonstrations. They stand for gun rights and keep preparing for an anti-government uprising. It's really easy to look at somebody in a Hawaiian shirt and think, this is silly, this is not really a threat. They're attempting to bring about a civil war. This is not funny. Now, CBC News has found Boogaloo support is spreading into Canada with two Facebook groups and hundreds of members. This one taken down after CBC brought it to Facebook's attention. A user in another group sharing the image of a rifle with a grenade launcher dubbed a gun designed for ending the Canadian menace. The fear is that they now take uh, a page from the book of, of their American counterparts. The administrator of the Facebook group tells CBC he runs the page for the memes and humor. But consider, after two officers were killed in California, authorities say they found this boogaloo patch belonging to the alleged shooter. In Nevada, three supporters were arrested, accused of planning a firebomb attack. Governments should be concerned uh, because, you know, these days there, there's, you know, people need very little to do a whole lot of damage. Members of those Canadian groups appeared especially enraged when the government further restricted gun ownership. For now, they haven't moved to any real world violence here, but online threats don't always remain virtual. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.